Hey everyone, welcome to YEG Cards, and today we got the new 2020-2021 Upper Deck Trilogy Hockey. So, you get two hits per box here. Each box does contain one autograph. That second hit can be an additional autograph. Um, no more often than not, it is a memorabilia card. It's a little slow getting this box. Um, like I mentioned, stores down here. Uh, a little, uh, little slow of getting hockey product in, in the doors. When it comes to baseball, it's pretty immediate, but upper deck stuff, I gotta, gotta wait a couple days, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get these on release day like I used to in the past. So here we go. That's six packs per box. Each pack does have four cards. Um, things to look for in this product. There's the, I guess there's the trilogy, um, rookie premier cards, uh, level one, level two, level three. Um, you know, those variations can have autographs or patch versions of them. Uh, there's the trilogy, a uh, signature pucks. And I guess lack of a better word, that is a very signature hit in this product. And, uh, there's other, uh, patch and auto variations that come with this product as well. I did notice that there were some uh, clear cutter acetate looking cards um, that come out of this product as well. I think those are pretty tough fit. If I take a quick scan of the odds here, uh, yeah, rookie super stage cards, uh, NHL shield logo parallels, okay. Signature pucks, crystallized signatures, that's what I was thinking of. So let's see what we can get this uh, product, I'd say is more of a product where uh, it is meant more for collectors. There's a, I believe there's a 50 card base set and there's uh, some additional base cards that are uh, rookies and uh, then some inserts as well. Well, why don't we just crack into this and uh, see what we get. Okay, first pack, here we go. So it's been uh, quite a while since I've opened Trilogy. Kind of excited to open this. So here we go. More often than not, the pack will have a decoy inside. Like I said, there are thicker cards like uh, patches or the signature pucks. Okay, here we go, Brock Besser, take the spacer out. Here are the base cards, very, very plain design. I like it though, it's very simple, nothing too crazy. Brock Besser, a card upside down, I don't know if this is actually a hit here. Trilogy, and it's, okay, it's the Rookie Renditions uh, insert of uh, Peyton Krebs. Okay, so that's what those look like. Again, the base card here on the back. With the statistics there. Besser. And this next card looks like we have, uh, it's like a jersey piece. Carter Hart, okay. There's a good one to get. Carter Hart jersey piece, uh, non-numbered. But it's, a, I guess, a variation of the base with the jersey there. Okay, yeah, good good start there so far. There's the this is the rookie renditions uh, insert. It's kind of very similar to the I don't remember the name. I think it was also called rookie renditions in, in the 1920 product. So I mean those have kind of its own uh, subset, the sub series. Okay, here we go. Pack number two. Maybe go careful with these cards here. Uh, this week, uh, we should also be expecting SPX. Um, but like I just mentioned about uh, card swords down here. Uh, might not be uh, seeing that product in my hobby store until next week, unfortunately. But, uh, alright, let's continue. We got Rookie Trilogy Renditions Gabe Velarde. Okay, very nice. Oh, there, look at that, Colton Pareko. Got our first, uh, first auto here. It's a Colton Pareko for the Blues. It's a base one. Uh, base auto there, Colton Pareko, okay. Can't say I have a Colton Pareko auto at all. We got the rookie renditions of Martin Coat. That one's numbered to seven ninety nine. Okay, for the Avalanche. And then, well, there's our Carter Hard Base. Okay. All right, so we did get an auto. I mean, we'll see if that is our only auto of the box. I'm hoping not. Hopefully we can get a... A little better auto than Colton Pareko, maybe maybe a rookie auto. Be nice. Okay. It's got John Tavares base. Jason Spezza base on the back there. Decoy. We got a 
Another insert set here. Rookie Super Stage. Gage Quinney. So I do actually like this. Oh, look, we got another auto. Oh, wow, look at that. Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram, Rookie Premier's level 2 auto out of 99. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, look at that. Two autos in our first three packs here. Hopefully that doesn't mean the rest of the packs are a bust, but wow, look at that. Okay, well, I think that's probably one of the better rookie autos to get. Bowen Byram, 21 of 99. Rookie Premier Level 2 Auto. Unfortunately, not on card, but still, look at that. Fortunately, I don't have any of my stands with me. They're all in storage still. So I'm just going to prop this up on the side. Make sure I don't bend the corners. And again, another look at the Super Sage. Rookie Super Sage insert set. Which I was just going to say I do like the look of these. Until I saw a glimpse of the autograph behind it. Okay, well, uh, I think we're, uh, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good here. Halfway done the box. And we did already get two autos and a jersey uh, relic card. So I'd say we're doing pretty good. Now, let's see if we can uh, continue our... Wow, I'm having a really hard time opening this pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm trying so careful to, trying so hard to be careful and not bend any corners here. In the process, I probably just bend them anyway. Nikki get a Kucherov base. We got a rookie renditions of Ryan McLeod for the Oilers. Okay, and then here we got another rookie super stage. Is Gage Quinney again? So this looks like a red parallel. Is that a nine nine ninety nine? So here's for comparison. We got two Gage Quinneys. The Vegas Golden Knights. Can't really say I know much about him. He's actually kind of a nice, nice card. Troll Geo always kind of reminds me of artifacts. Like it's a bit of a thicker card stock. I mean, we're not talking 180 point, of course, but they're not, you know, flimsy Opeachy cards. And it's kind of a kind of a fun set to collect. Um, I know some a lot of some folks uh, like to buy a full case of this stuff. Um, Comes in two inner cases, I believe 10 box each, where you can get a master. But uh, a lot of collectors like to, like to buy an inner, collect the base set, collect all the uh, base rookies, rookie renditions, rookie or super stages. Okay, Martin Jones, fifth pack here. And behind Martin Jones, we have a Shane Bowers rookie renditions there. Okay. And here behind it, we got a Vitaly Kravtsov, Rookie Renditions, out of seven ninety nine. Okay, Vitaly Kravtsov, good card there. And behind that is a base of Matthew Kachuk. So I hope everyone's enjoying NHL playoffs right now. I am certainly not enjoying watching the Oilers lose. The time of recording of this video, currently down in the series three nothing to Winnipeg. Not really enjoying that, especially the fact that hockey is not really on TV down here. So, last pack here. We got Braden Shen base, Jonathan Huberdo, with the spacer. I'm pretty sure we got all our hits here, so this is probably just a numbered insert here. So, Bone Byram. Last card, it's a level three. Wow, okay, look at that. Nick Robertson. Rookie Premier is level three. Number to 299. Nick Robertson, okay, that's a, kind of a nice shiny gold card there. All right, well. I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to say that for a while. I feel like the boxes on this channel have been quite subpar as of late. Quick hit recap here. We got a, a number of inserts here. Rookie renditions, Kravtsov, Bowers, McLeod, Martin Kaut, Gabe Velarde, and Peyton Krebs. We got a couple of the rookie um, Super Sage inserts. Bowen Byram, Gage Quinney, and Gage Quinney. And the hits of the box. We got a nice Nick Robertson, Rookie Premier is level 3 to 299. This beautiful Bone Byram, Rookie Premier is level 2 auto, number 299. And we got this Colton Prego base auto. And we have the Carter Hart, Jersey Relic card, non numbered. And that'll do it for the break, everyone. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more breaks to come on the channel. Box of SPX will be up next, hopefully later this week. 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, hope everyone enjoyed that. All right, everyone take care.